Yeah, we're on that. It's good? Yeah. All right. First and foremost, we want to say, Kyle, uh, Allah, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh,
but it says right here, in the day of, of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. That's right. That's right, you know, you know, so basically, you know, like, it's the opposite, man. You know, when you go through hell, you don't think about the good times, man. Yeah, you don't think about the, the breaks that the Lord has been giving you. Exactly. I find that fun because, you know, I'm going through hell right now. Yeah. And recently, I was just thinking to myself, like, man, I'm always catching hell. And I just remembered, I was like, man, I, I really just caught a break a couple months ago. Yeah. You know, I, you know, the Lord, so that's the balance, that's the balance of this, of this, of the truth, man. Yeah. You're going to be, although you be catching hell, trust me, the Lord will give you breaks here and there. But, uh, understand that you will catch more hell than your breaks. And it only makes sense since we're in hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, it always baffles me when niggas try to live lavishly in this truth, in That's, this kingdom, it, man. It doesn't make any sense. Like the scripture says, for gold is tried in a fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? You know, yeah. we're, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So, it's more likely that we're going to go through hell because it's not our time to rule. And on top of that, like you just said, acceptable men. Man, man yeah. if you're going through hell, the most high <laughs> sees you as being like, you know, yeah. a potential, a potential of elect. Yeah. He yep. sees you as a as a as a as a, as a acceptable man. So guess what? He will put you through that fire because it's only gonna make you better, man. Yeah. But you got niggas who wanna be like 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 uh like these heathens in the world, man. Yeah. Yep. You know, like I just finished watching the apostles and they're going into the the the, the curse mark, not the curse mark, but the 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 hair, you know, the, the what's that called? The, uh, leprous, leprous in the hair, the hair. And, it, and it just clicked to me man all niggas are doing those uh every niggas doing that uh blonde tip yeah. you know where and, and that's and that's that's a shame man that's a shame jake even though you got you got israelites that don't even they, they don't they're not born with that leprous but they they go into the stores and spray that shit on the top of their heads anyways yeah. that's how engrafted in this kingdom they are in this uh, society they are man they're actually ignorant to what that truly means. Yeah. Having a blonde, yellow, thin hair is a leprosy of the scalp, which is, you know, a curse, basically, a curse. man. I mean, you're not supposed to have... It's a shame to look like... It's a shame for us to look like the heathens. Yeah. And it's you just, know, that's just the truth. Huh, and you know what's crazy is that this token white man wants to look like us. Everything's back up. Which, back which, back which is back. crazy. I don't fucking understand that shit. Why do our women bleach? Why do they want to be like the damn white man? And then you got the white woman who go to the satin salon to get melanin and get darker. You know? Why does that happen, man? Everything's upside down in this kingdom, man. It's because Esau's ruling. That's right. It's all because these Edomites are ruling. That's right. It says, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction, and in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity, right? For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. So, in the end of the day, in the end of the day, in the end of the day, you have to have faith in the Most High that no matter what you're going through, that He's going to, uh, uh, He's going to, uh, um, He's gonna, uh, reward yeah, reward you. Yeah. He's gonna reward you, man. Yeah, according to your ways. According to your ways, you know. So, so in the end of the day, man, it really goes back to the amount of faith you have. Because yeah. if you don't have the right amount of faith to continue in this work, you're gonna fall out. It's just that simple. That's why. That's why. That's it always. That's why it makes sense. Uh, that faith is a gift. You can't just get faith. You right. can't just wake up like yo. I'm gonna work for faith. Yeah. That's, that's a gift from the Most High, to get faith. To come out here and do what we're doing, and, and to look as foolish as we do, yeah. as you have to have faith, an abundance amount of it, man. That's right, you know. And it's going to come to a time, you know, where your faith will be tested, you know, and you will be weak. And that's when the Lord, the Havas, you know, I said, if you need more faith, just pray for it. Yeah, that's it. You know? And you need faith to pray. That's even. right. Exactly. Like, it's, 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 oh, it's a full circle, man. Yeah. It all goes hand in hand, right? For it is an easy thing to the Lord, unto the Lord, in the day of death, to reward a man according to his ways. The affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure. And in his end, his deeds shall be discovered. So guess what? All you niggas that, 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 that scoff at us for being spiritual and, be, and not being in the world, Guess what? All that nice stuff that you guys said. That's why the scripture said, don't envy thou, thou oppressor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It makes no sense to envy them because guess what? All the, as soon as the Hallow Shai comes, they're going to forget about all the good shit they had. 
You know, all, all the riches, the nice cars, the good life, the, the, the nice job, that, that million dollar house, everything beautiful that they had is going to be forgotten as soon as Yahweh Shai comes. Because when Yahweh Shai comes, it's going to be, it's going to be all hell, all hell is going to break loose, man. Even before he comes, all hell is going to break loose. You know? So, so all, all, that's why, that's why we, that's why it's easy. It makes sense to be in the, to, be, to do this work. It makes sense, man. Yeah. When, especially when you know none of this stuff lasts forever. Yeah. This is the only, the truth is the only thing that lasts forever. The truth is the only thing that endures forever. Right? Endures forever. That's exactly. right. It's the only thing. I'm good, right. man. We're good, man. Good? Yeah, we're good. That's right. Going back to Proverbs 20 verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. So, you know, just going back to our point, is that, you know, us coming out here doing the work of Yahab Hashim Shai is for a reason. And there's a reward that Yahab Hashim Shai will give us because it says right here, Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Because if you don't come out here to do the work of the Lord, it's going to come to a time, you know, just like the scripture says, you know, in the day of that power that people shall be willing. They're going to be willing to seek the truth, but you know, it's not going to be there, right? That's right that's so, right. you know, in the day of the Lord, when all hell breaks loose, that's when they're going to beg. You know, that's that harvest, yeah. but, they, but they shall have nothing. You know, they're not going to be stable. Well, that know? harvest is talking about in the scriptures, if you can yeah. get from me, uh, Revelation 14. Uh, 14 and start from 9. Uh, because that, the harvest, it says they should be, they shall beg in the harvest. Actually, you can even apply that to the five virgins. Yeah. One's without the candle, uh, one without the oil, and some with the oil. And then when Yahweh Shai came, Guess what they were doing? They were begging the, yeah. the, the bridges for the oil. Yeah, you know, give us some some of your oil. Oil, you know, it's the same thing. When Yahusha comes and, and reaps of this kingdom, all these niggas that fell out and 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 and, and even the niggas, and, and the scoffers that scoffed at us, beginning the apostles on down, they're gonna come looking to us to get salvation, like we can save them, like because we had, because we were speaking the truth. Yeah. Once everybody understands that we are, we are actual prophets of the Most High, then they can be begging for, for our salvation yeah. and for a way out of this hell. Yeah. But you know what? Lord Yahushai, Lord Yahushai, Lord Yahushai, Rock says that we're up there. We won't even be here for when they bang. We're already be beamed up. Watching the destruction of the kingdom from the chariots, man. Yeah. That's right. Pro uh, Revelation chapter 14, it says there's, there's that pastor right there. Right, right there. Yeah, you know, he would never come out here and do the work like we do. No, man. you feel know I me? Mean? Like, and he, pull, and I know, I know that guy's lifestyle. You know, you know who that is, man. That his lifestyle is clean, is nice too, man. He's a pastor of a whole church and all jinx. You don't come out here to do the work. Yeah. You know, and, and his nice warm church and his nice warm car. Exactly. He'll step up for ten minutes, conjure about the script, and then go back in his car. Yeah. You know, and because of the lifestyle that they're living, they think that that's a blessing from the Lord. Not knowing that this is just a time for them to have fun, because it's going to come to a time where you're going to go through hell. You know? All clean shade. I hope the hell he comes over here. I'm going to get him with that beard, man. Yep. All clean shade. Then you can see, like, man. Anyways, man. Yeah. Huh. This is in the book of. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, you said from, uh, from verse 9? Yeah, from verse 9. Revelation 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, mm -hmm. and receive his mark in his forehead or, or in his hand. That's deep, man, because you know what? You, 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 you niggas are going to definitely, when, you look, when you're seeking for a way out, you're going to look to Esau, especially when he comes out with the RFID chip. Which is the mark of the beast. Yeah. You know, that's that's really going to be the big test, man. The hour of temptation, because of, because uh, the mark of the beast. Without it, you're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to work. It's going to become currency and your social insurance number. And you know how it is when you don't have a social insurance number. You can't do nothing. You're like a you're like a wanderer. Yeah. A vagabond. A vagabond. Yeah. But whoever has the whoever takes that marks. That mark is going to get destroyed from Yahweh Shai, and I know for a fact that these churches are going to are going to are going to uh, try to uh, try to rationalize why you're going to be a, why you should take the mark of the uh, the mark of the beast. Yeah. They're going to they're going to try to rationalize as to why you need to take the chip because your kids need to eat and such. Yeah. 
And it's because they because they don't they don't have the truth over there in those in those uh, in those in those uh, so called churches. Man, yeah. man it's, it's 2017. A lot of people know that these churches are a bunch of bullshit, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah, even you know, even with my parents, man. You know, even with my parents, but you know, it's been what like freaking out. Uh, you know, 20 some odd years we've been going to church. You know, they just all of a sudden stop. You know. <laughs> Because, you know, they don't have this, you know, it's bullshit, man. Yeah, it's not really teaching you shit. You're not learning anything, man. You're actually, you know, you're relying on them for salvation. That's right. You That's know, right. Right. you go to church, you know, thinking that me going to church every, you know, Sunday or so on and on is the way and that's how I will be delivered by going to church. Yeah. You know, this is the church right here, man. Exactly, this is the man. church. This is the church you're supposed to be going to. Yeah. That's why Apostle Hart says you guys are zombies because you look at your pastor like they're God. Exactly. Like he's God himself. Like he's yeah. Yahweh himself. Huh. Yeah. And it says verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. That's it. That's it, man. That's a heavy, that's a heavy, that's a heavy cup to drink. That's a that's a that's, that's a the, 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 the wrath of the Most High is yet to be seen. You think this is, this is, like, yeah, the, the hell that we're going through as Israel, if you just look at the hell that we're going through as Israel, you know the Most High is cheese. Yeah. But the Most High is even going to be more pissed when Yahushai gets down here, man. Yeah. And you know what's scary is that in the time of Moses, when our people wanted to speak to the Lord, and the Lord just, you know, basically came down, you know, with that thunder, and the people Scared. just, you know, they just got afraid. That was just a portion. That's the largest stepping, you know. You not know, even, like you know, just, just sitting in a cloud over oh, there. Oh yeah, you know? you know. Yeah, you know. That's the Lord just, you know, basically speaking a few words, yeah, yeah, and the people just bugged out, man. Well, and they're like, no, man. There are exact words where they stood. They that, that they were saying something like they they stood afar off because they thought the most I was gonna kill them. Yeah. So imagine that compared to when Yahawashai returns back. That that yeah. that right there is something not to be compared to, you know, anything else, man. Because that right there itself, you know, that in itself right there is danger, man. <laughs> the Lord <laughs> is shit. danger, man. And I just did a video on on on, uh, on the fear of the Lord. Yeah. Because, like, when you really fear the Lord and you think about these things, when the Lord comes and how angry he is, and you really you connect the dots of all the wickedness. Yeah. Man, that, that shit scares you into doing the work even more. Oh, well, hmm. Let me see that. You know? Huh. I was actually reading this the other day in the book of uh, Proverbs, I believe. Uh, let me get that. Because these churches and these, uh, and these other Israelite camps, they don't fear the Most High, man, and His Son. They do not fear the Most High and His Son. That's why they disrespectingly call Him Jesus Christ. If, they, if these guys truly had the fear of the Most High, um, fear of the Lord, they would they would they would uh, adhere to our correction yeah. and call him by the proper name. But what what is their excuse? Oh, he has not. My mom, man, constantly. I, the excuse is, oh, yes. What the fuck? There you go with the rainbow hat, straight faggot, man. Yeah. Um, and there's there the, these Christians' excuses is that cannot the Most High understand all languages? Yeah. Is that the Most High know? He sees my heart. Exactly. That's disrespectful as all hell, man. Just because the Most High can do all those things, you you're gonna be lazy and not call him by and do uh, and not give him his due diligence and yeah. call him by a proper name. Yeah. That's disrespectful, man. Yeah. And that just goes that to show. That shit cheese me when people say that shit. Yeah. And that just you know that just goes to show that they don't want to just accept the fact that they don't know the name of the Lord. Yeah, man. You know, That's just pride. Just humble yourself. Don't be prideful. Humble yourself and just say, oh, I don't know the name of the Lord. Can you please tell me? That's a lot better than, you know, basically, you know, you, you know. make excuses. Exactly. You know, you're trying to hide the fact that you don't know the name of the Lord by uh, saying <laughs> that, you know, well, the Lord knows all yeah. languages anyways. No, no shit he does, man. That doesn't mean doesn't mean you that's that's the that's an excuse. That's the same thing with the with the law. Yeah. Oh, the Lord said we're not saved by the law. No shit, what did Paul say? He said have to keep the law. Exactly. If you can keep it, why not keep it? Why would you just sit back and be lazy like that? Yeah. Huh. This is the book of Proverbs 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's it. That's it. That's the why we that's why we stay coming out here. Prophesy against this kingdom. Yeah. Cause this kingdom is evil, man. Yeah. The works of this kingdom is evil. 
and doctrine, the ideas, the belief, the belief system of this kingdom is evil, man. And it all begins with our own people, man. And these heathens are going to be wicked anyways. That's how they're built. But Israel, who is built to be the righteous, righteous sons, uh, the righteous uh, sons of the Most High, are going off even more so than the wicked themselves. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance, and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. You know, so you know, so we talk about you know having a fear of the Lord, Jehovah Hashem Shai. That it is to hate evil, pride, arrogance, you know, and so on and on. Basically, hate this world, man. You know, in a nutshell, man, hate this world. You know, that's the fear of the Lord right there. Because when you come against this world, then now you begin to understand what well, Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, is, you know, I'm a truly for. And that is righteousness, because this world is wickedness. You know? But going back here to Revelation, it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and shall be tormented, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's right, man. And the Lamb is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. In, in, Yahweh Shai. in the presence. In the presence, that's right. Man. But I, I thought the Lord loved everyone. You know, why would the Lord have, you know, people be tortured in front of him? <laughs> yeah, right? God, God, God. Yo, did, did not the Lord say, you know, but they that, you know, I'm uh, basically roughly phrasing, you know. Me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The Lord said that there's going to be people who would not want him to rule over them to bring them hither and slay them before me. That's, right. That's in the presence of the Lamb, man. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. So when you bring up scriptures like that, these people, you know, they basically just ignore it. And then yeah, they say, they, oh, you know, God is love. Yeah, they run away from those scriptures, man. They won't deal with those scriptures because it's truth. And now everything that they've been taught has to come into question. Exactly. And they, don't wanna, they, wanna they don't want to deal with that. Yes. They don't want that shit. Man. They don't want to deal with that. And then the next thing they'll say is, you know, read it in context. <laughs> Well, when you said God is love, did you read that in context? <laughs> or did you just pull out that scripture and say God is love, and then you know you ran away with it? Because the Lord said, I hate Jacob. I mean, as a lack, and that's, that's Esau. saying, I hate Esau, but I love Jacob. Come. You know? Come. So, you know? You, know? Great, you, you Christians are hella funny sometimes. Yeah. You come up with all types of excuses and diversions <laughs> just, to get yeah. away from the truth. Right? Yeah, and the crazy thing is that, like, with these Christians, a lot of things that they do, or, you know, out, a lot of the things that they say or they want us to do is the exact same things, you know, that they do too. Yeah, cut, you know? cut. Like, for example, you know, this is like what you're reading in the Father's thing, you know, we will read scriptures like uh, Romans 9 and 13 about the Lord hating Esau or loving Jacob. They'll tell us, to, you know, to read that in context, but then they pull out John 3 16. Yeah. You know, why, you know, why didn't you read John, you know, 3 and 1 all the way down to 16? Because when you read John 3 and 1, you're talking about Israel. You, you know, Jake, man, you're talking about Israel. In John 3 and 1. Yeah, you know? that, that was the context of that chapter. <laughs> exactly, yeah, you know, so that was the context. So when you go down to John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, talking about Israel, man. Well, you know, you know what? Can you get uh, Hebrews? Since we're talking about that, can you yeah. get Hebrews 1 and 1? Huh. Is that it on Revelation? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was it on that one. Hebrews 1 and 1? Yeah, 1 and 1. Oh. Because this is going to cut that John 6, 3, 16, for so God loved the world, right? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Hebrews 1 and 1. Yahweh yeah, Hashim Shai. That's right. God. Who at asunder times uh -huh. and in diverse manners spake in times, uh, so like in the time in time past mm -hmm. unto the fathers by the prophet, mm -hmm. has in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Okay, you have a shot. Okay. Whom he had appointed uh -huh. heirs of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Worlds, man. Plural, Plural yeah. Bruh. There's, there's, there's the understanding of that word world, world man. Yeah. And, and, and it's crazy because we really, you know, we be in the world here and talking about, all oh, the world of basketball. Yeah. Oh, the world of this. But then when it comes to scripture, it's just the whole, the whole world. world. You yeah. can't understand the concept of it being oh. different worlds. That's right, you know. There's an animal world. Come you know, There's a sports world. That's what I call the animal yeah. kingdom. There's a Disney world. Yeah, 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 yeah come Exactly, man. There's so many different worlds. And even that, there's different planets out there. So, Yahweh shall make the world. So, when you read John 3, 16, what world? You gotta ask yourself these questions. You can't just go off of your own understanding that, oh, you know, I, I assume that's talking about this whole planet. Or my pastor said it was like this, so I'm yeah. sure go ahead and believe it was like this. Yeah. 
town, man. That's, you gotta ask questions in this truth, man. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You gotta ask questions to obtain the truth. Con, con, that's it on that one. Okay, okay. can you, um, uh, um, oh yeah, Timothy's, uh, okay. no, no, not Timothy, sorry, Romans 11, and start from 5. Oh, Romans 11, 5? Five? Five, yeah. Um, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 5. It says, even so, then at this present time also, there is a remnant according... Actually, you know what's different, Come on, right. come on, yeah, come on, okay. Yeah, the whole thing is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, has God cast away his people? That's right, because like I was saying earlier, man, we're in this kingdom living in hell, and, 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 and we're in this wicked kingdom living in hell, and it's Israel who's doing all the wickedness, man. You got the wicked doing their job, and then you got Israel doing the job of the wicked. Okay, and that's not how it's supposed to be. That's why when Yahushua comes back, he said he will, he will cut off from him two-thirds. Two-thirds of Israel will be destroyed, man. And you have to because that's just how wicked you are. And you're going to come back in, in, through, through the loins of the elect. Exactly, man. You know, the scripture says that, you know, the righteous or Israel have surpassed the deeds of the wicked. So, you know, they're doing more wickedness than the wicked that was created to do wicked. This is hella wicked, man. No? And it says, had God, I say then, had God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also... I'm an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. And that's Paul writing that letter, man, to the Romans, to the Israelites that were in Rome. Yeah. But you guys, when you come up upon that Gentile under the Gentile breakdown, you say, well, Paul was a Gentile. Well, he just did. Well, the fact that Israel's been all done away with is not true. I'm an Israelite myself, yeah. and I'm hearing the truth. Exactly. So that means the Lord must still have mercy on Israel. Well, we will read that in the book of Romans chapter on. 1, because this is book you want to read it in context? Yeah, come on. We've got to go back right to the very first verse. That's right. Uh, uh, with Isaiah 28. You know, priest of Palm Priest. Yep, priest of Palm Priest. Yeah, Romans 1, verse 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, called to be an apostle, suffered unto the gospel of God, who he had promised a poor by his prophet in the Holy Scripture, concerning his son Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed Amen. of David according to the flesh. Wasn't David an Israelite? Yep, yeah, exactly. Jumping down to verse 7. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God. Now, you know, when, when you break that down, who is beloved of God? We're talking about the elect, man. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints. Called to be saints. When you read the book of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Psalm 50 verse 5, or, you know... Psalm 50 and 5. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. When you read that, it talks about the saints being the Israelites. Right. You know? So when Paul was writing this, he said, to all that be in Rome, to all the Israelites that be in Rome, That's right. grace to you and peace from Yahweh, our Father, and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's right. So there, you know, when we read that, that's in context. So now, you know, uh, Romans 11, when, you know, uh, Paul, you know, said that he himself is an Israelite too. So that's who he was writing to, man, to his people, right? Romans 9, you know, uh, what is this? That's basic history. Man. Yeah. You guys think, like, these were once letters, man. Yeah. Like, you go to... Uh, uh, the the book of Corinthians, First Corinthians and Second yeah. Corinthians. That's a that's a long letter, man. Yeah. And it's true. So the Israelite are in Corinth. And that's also okay, Apostle Gabar was breaking that down. That's also how you know that you know uh, uh, Paul was dealing with a lot of wickedness in Corinth. Yeah. That's why he had to write an extra long letter. He told me, you know, he was pissed off. God. You know. Now going back again, you know, just to bring it, you know, another example, Romans nine verse one. I say the truth in Yahawashai, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Spirit, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahawashai, for my brethren and my kingdom according to the flesh. Right. Who are Israelites? Hey, hey, what scripture is that? That's Romans 9, verse uh, verse 1, all the way down to 4. Okay, you know? Who are Israelites? 
who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption. So, oh, you know, man, that in itself preached <laughs> on the Gentiles, yeah, man. You know, about the Gentiles getting, you know, in grasp. We're talking about right. Israel. Uh, the right? key word is adopted. Adopted. When, when, when you're adopted, uh, adopted into something, it's, 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 to be, it's basically, it's like a, syno, it's a synonymous to saying being, uh, to, to buy, buy back. back. To redeem. To redeem. Yeah. Because, first of all, uh, being adopted is the one thing, right? We all know what that means, but he said, Israelites who are adopted. To whom pertain hey, hey. That's who, who, who oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, <laughs> the adoption of anything, of anybody coming into this truth were to Israel. That's why we said the adoption who were pertain to Israelites. Can you have Israelites who didn't know they were Israelites but and were living like the heathens, man? Just like today, you have Israelites who live like heathens but guess what? Through the flesh, through the spirit, they're Israelites. Uh, no, because, you know, the adoption was pertaining to Israel, man. Right. right? It right. says... And it only makes sense because yeah. why would the adoption adoption be pertaining to any other nation? They were already living in their in their customs and their traditions. Yeah. It was Israel that was scattered across the world. Yeah. It was Israel that lost the, the, their customs and traditions of the Most High. Khan. So who else would need to be adopted? Khan. Khan. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants oh, okay. and the giving of the law. Okay. Yo, let me read this again. You know, this is the book of Romans, chapter 3. No, now this, this is all in the book of Romans, okay? I have to do a video yeah. on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too much meat in there. And this is all in the book of Romans. This is that. We're, not even, yeah, we're not even going to the scriptures. Yeah. You know, over here in the book of Romans 9, verse 4, where it said, and the covenant and the giving of the law. This is Romans chapter 3, verse, verse 19. Now we know that what thing soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law. Who is under the law? Whatever the law said, it said to, to them who are under the law. Israel is the only people who are under the law. And this is in the New Testament. Can you Christian be saying, well, that was all Old Testament, Old Testament talk. <laughs> yeah. In the New Testament, now we're engrafted. Yeah. This is all in the New Testament, man. It is still pertaining to Israel. Yeah. You just, you guys just err not knowing no the scriptures, scripture. man. Because yeah. you got your, you got the poor chap, poor chop pastors yeah. teaching you nonsense, man. Yeah. You know? Clean shaved poor chop pastor teaching you nonsense and then you run with that shit. Yeah. Like it's the truth. Yeah, because with these Christians, you know, whenever um they don't understand something, they'll say, Oh, you know, that's in the old testament. Like like you had this one guy who when the apostles, you know, the you know, the Akim out there in New York, they were reading from the book of Revelation, the guy said, Oh, that was in the old testament. <laughs> That goes to show you that when they don't know or they don't understand something, they just use that, you know, as a covering. You know, which goes to show that these people don't even consider or don't even adhere to what's going on, man. You know. And you know, it's funny. These Christians, you know, when they stand out, because I was at, you know, that school, you had a, a guy who's standing out, and they pass out these Bibles. They'll pass out the Bible that's just all New Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, they won't yeah, pass you the yeah, whole thing. They'll yeah. just pass you the little ones. It's just yeah. the whole New Testament. Yeah. yeah, you're right because you know, just a testimony of that. You know, like my woman, like you know, I mean, she uh, basically went to a school or something. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, um, they were just gathering or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, um, from people, you know, um, that she works with. You know, and uh, like you know, I'm a. They were giving up, you know, these like you know, I'm a mini, uh, small hand you know, Bibles. Hand Bibles. Yeah. You know, uh, so like you know, I'm a, she basically like you know, I'm a. You know, out of, out of, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, yeah, you know, out of, I'm a ignorant, like you know, I'm a, like you know, I'm a, out of ignorance, like you know, I'm a, she, 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 she thought like I'm a, she, she was doing a good deed, so like you know, I'm a, she basically like, I'm a god, you know, and you know, and then, and then I was like, you know. Uh, like you know, I was at home and I opened it up. It was just only the oh, new Testament. New Testament yeah. And that was it, bro. And I was like, and then you know, it was you know the you know our new international version too. Come on, and I was just like, what yeah, the fuck am I gonna do with this, man? That's right. You know? That's right. It certainly happened to me. I took that shit through right in the garden. And he was standing right here. I took it. <laughs> And I walked across. The guy looked like he was angry. I was like, man, yeah. what the fuck is this? Yeah. How you how you I gonna stand you here? Yeah, and tell me that you that you basically your your actions to say here's the truth, the good news, write the gospel, but it's supposed to be the whole book. Yeah. You can't give the gospel and just give half the book. Yeah. Yeah, man. Man, you man, you Christians are all jack all messed up, man. You guys, 
don't know what the hell you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. And that's the thing too, is that if you were to read a book, you don't just start from the middle and to the end and then ex you know expect to understand the whole knowledge. Or neither do you buy someone a gift, you know, you buy a book and you cut it in half and then you know <laughs> you give it to them. You don't do that shit, man. Yeah, right? you read half of the book. That's all you need. Yeah. You don't do that shit, man. You know? You wanna give someone the truth, you give them the whole thing, man. You give them the whole thing. But I got to show you how these Christians operate, they all have to hear about the good, you know? In the New Testament, it, it talks about the bad, but because it's not spoken out often, yeah, yeah. or well, it's, it's not broken, broken down right, right. Exactly. Yeah, it's, not, it it's not broken down right, yeah. they, you know, uh, basically think uh, that this is the way, man, you know? Yeah. This is it, this you is know? It. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and it says, uh, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the you know what? Oh, like you know what? what? The New Testament makes sense, man. Like, like if you just read the, if you understand history, Old Testament, we knew we were Israel. Yeah. So it makes sense that when Israel lost scattered abroad, that that covenant broke, yeah. right? Because we moved, we made a covenant with the Most High when we when we made a when we made a a, 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 a blood a blood covenant a blood oath. Yeah. And then when we broke that oath. The Most High, because because He has mercy, He sent His Son to make a new covenant. Yeah. Hence, the word New Testament. Yeah. That's all that is, bro. If we never went off, there wouldn't be a New Testament. Come on, you know. Because it, because what's the like the, the New Testament is the point of Israel, the Gentiles, us. Because yeah. we you know we fell away, we didn't know. Now we have the New Testament, yeah. the New Covenant, coming back into the truth. That's right, and and the Son Yahweh was a blood sacrifice because God. Yahweh requires God. blood. That's right, yeah. You know? God. That's right, you know? he was the last and final sacrifice. That's yeah. why they call him the sacrificial lamb. Exactly, you know, because when uh, Esau and Jacob, or uh, Salakia, when uh, Cain and Abel, you know, Abel sacrificed blood offerings unto the Lord, while Cain, you know, uh, basically sacrificed fruits and vegetables, come, man. Come, come. Which was wicked because he knew what the Lord required, man. Yeah, and that's why he said that too. too. The Lord said, you know, don't uh, rough your prayers. And if you do good, you know, you be acknowledged. Yeah, exactly, you know. And if you do bad, sin not at your door. Yeah, come. You know? That's it, man. Huh. Now going back to uh, Romans. Yeah. Romans 13, verse 1 again. I say then, hath Yahweh Bashim al cast away his people? God forbid, for I am. An Israelite for I. 11 or 13? What's that? Is that Romans 11? Yeah. Okay, okay. Romans. Said 13, 13. Oh, did I? Yeah. yeah oh, it's a lot, yeah. yeah. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, has Yahweh Bashim Yashai cast away his people? God forbid. Sure. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Sure. God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not know? What ye. It's like it. What ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, right. and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. That's right, man. It's, it's you Israelites that got rid of the apostles, man. Or got rid of the, the prophets, yeah, and the apostles. Yeah. You know, it's you Israelites. Because like, even, man, like, even when uh, the brothers have been doing, like, a... There's one brother on Instagram, I don't know if you've seen his stuff, he's been doing like a part one, part two of the house shot's life. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was watching it, and, and, his, and like even Pontius Pilate and his oh, yeah. wife, yeah, you know, the, they said, man, this guy's righteous, man. Like, they I don't even, have any blood. Yeah, come on. I don't want this blood on my hands. Come on. Watch his hands. Come on. Yeah. So, like, even, even, even as a, as a heathen, he yeah. knew. Yeah. Like, man, you know what, like, this is... Like this guy is good, man. He has no charge. He hasn't done anything. Yeah. But it was Israel, but, but and even scripture will tell you, but but because of Israel, yeah. and he didn't want to lose his rulership. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't know what to say, bro. Yeah, I don't know what to say, bro. He didn't want to lose his rulership. Yeah. He had to do something. He had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> he can't let him walk away, right? God. He had to do something. Yeah, Israel would have took him out yeah. too. Yo, that's how wicked our people yeah. are, man. They would have protested. Yeah, because they do the same shit today. Yeah. When they don't let something up in the government. That's right. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's where that spirit comes from, man. Yeah. And then there would be riots and chaos. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. Man. When I watch that, like, man, it feels crazy. Yeah. 
But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And that 7,000, it's not literally 7,000, but completion. that number, yeah, it means completion, right? Yeah, the 144. That's right, that's right. Because, you know what, that, that image Baal, Baal, that's a pagan woman, man. That, that, that's, this, that's this society. Yeah. You know, the Most High has reserved the elect uh, to, to not bow down to the ways of this society, of this, of this uh, wicked kingdom that's yeah. uh, run by Esau. Yeah. That's, yeah. Why, that's why we're targeted. And you know what? Apostle Gabar said this, and it's true, man. It's so true. This, all these terrorist attacks and all these, because they just had another terrorist attacks in New York. All these different ter ter terrorist attacks that they keep lining up with yeah. uh, 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 Elam and uh, uh, Ishmael. Yeah. Watch, they're gonna start connecting it to us too. To us. Man, everything that happens online when people think, oh, you know, there's a shooting here and there. Yeah. I'm just thinking, man, Esau thinks he's fucking slick, man. Everything that these so called white people do, you know, the elites, the Illuminati, and so on mm -hmm. and on, everything they do is, you know, a step closer to get to us. Man. <laughs> yeah, I can't, Honestly, I, can't. I don't believe I can't. shit <laughs> that happens, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, like with the shootings and so on and on. Yeah. And even if it does happen, they're creating these chaos just to come and you know just to come at us because then now they're like it's all about the people out there talking about the hate speech Khan, which is coming up the people Khan, man. Khan, everything Khan. is coming back to us at the end of the day man and that's so how we just have to be prepared that's it that's it and that's the scriptures talked about that man yeah. you know the, they'll throw you in the synagogues yeah. for my name's sake yeah. and you know what i'm surprised that the whole mass the massacre in, uh, in, uh, in uh, sin city i'm surprised that they didn't link that up with us you know, because one of these is something, some big terrorist attack is going to happen. They say, oh, like this guy was affiliated with, was, this, he was yes. with GMS yeah, or yeah. whatever, these, these yeah. black Hebrew yeah. Israelites. Yeah, they're going to call us black Hebrew Israelites. That's like, what they're going to do. Yeah. That's what they're going to do. And, and as soon as that happens, that's it, man. That's the famine of the word because they're going to, because as soon as we're the main uh, target, target on reason why these, uh, these attacks are happening and we're the, the main reason, they're going to cut us from being out here, man. That's yeah. it, bro. Once we're... Once we're done out here, the elect have been sealed. Because yeah. the only reason why we're still out here is because the elect have been sealed, man. Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. And, to, uh, and then know, work on our own salvation. Con, you know, and we're here to expose, you know, the lies of this kingdom. Con, yeah, it's, yeah, con, and to expose the lies of this kingdom. Yeah. Once, once we're out here, everything's been everything done. Complete. That's it. You the know? work's been done, yeah. and now we're just gotta sit back and watch these prophecies go. Yeah. Okay. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Um, and it says, what verse are you at? Uh, I'm uh, verse 5 now, the one that you wanted. Yeah. Even so, then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then is it no more of works? Otherwise, grace is no more of grace. That's why faith is a gift, man. Yeah. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. That's, that's it, that's it. But then Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it and the rights were blinded. It's all about the election, man. It's all, like, it's, it's actually like crazy. Like, it's actually crazy. The Most High really just cares about the elect. Yeah. That's all he cares about, yeah. Most High and His Son. Yeah. You know, so, and, and it said, the elected, the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. So what are you talking about that any though that the for so God loves the, the whole, whole world? world. Yo, you know what I mean? True, that's exact. Yo, this question cuts that whole thing about love the whole world. Why would the Lord blind some people? Yeah, you know, and if not give them the them. truth. Yeah. Because think about it, the truth is what gets you salvation. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord is blinding you and wants you dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well you believe in hell, therefore the Lord doesn't love the whole world, man. That's it. See man, there's multiple ways. If you, if you understand the scriptures right, you know there's multiple ways to break, to to destroy to these. To cut it. Yeah, it's to so cut easy. these these doctrines, man. Yeah, it's so easy. It's just Swiss cheese, man. That's all they got up there, man. They ain't got, they don't got the full understanding of the truth. Yeah, you know, for every word they say, they always, you know, for every sentence, the second word it always has a has a lie behind yeah, it. Can't, can't. You know? That's right. That's right. Maybe just read to a ten. Can't. Can't. 
According as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, That's right. and ears that they, sh that they should not hear, That's why unto I, this day. God, <laughs> unto this day, man. Yeah. Even back then, they weren't understanding the truth. Yeah. To this day, they still don't understand the truth. Yeah. You know, that's why it's not a big thing. I always laugh. I always laugh when people say, Why are you always out here? You got nobody listening to you. Yeah. Huh? Like when Vaughn came up yeah, here, yeah, yeah. he was trying to uh, educate us on how to bring crowds yeah. in. Like, we give a fuck, bro. It's part of my language, but it's, it's the truth, man. We don't, we care. We give no fucks if, if no one listens to us. Well, that's the thing is that, you know, these people, they don't understand, like, when the scripture says, you know, you should know them by their fruits. Yeah. They're thinking, like, we're going to have crowds of people here. That's, that's how, how people are going to know, or how, that's how they're going to know the word of the Lord. Because, you know, like, you know, like, with that pastor, uh, you know, about, you know, about, what Rapid, is that? Pastor yeah, Rapid. Pastor Rattler having a big congregation. He thinks that that's his fruit. You know, that's him actually doing the work of the Lord. Yeah. But they don't understand you know, how to actually do the work of the Lord, you know, or what the name of the Lord is, because we are, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a, you know, like, you know, I'm a, we are, you know, of the fruit of the apostles, you know, so when you look at the apostles, they are the men of the Lord, man, because, you know, we are, you know, a part of that brand. That's right, because, you know what, the fruit, when you want to, when you talk when it says, you should know by the fruit, the fruit is the understanding of the scriptures, yeah, and in the works, and that's what, that's what attracts, that's what attracts like the elect yeah. is your understanding of the scriptures because once you like when you're doing videos or you're out here breaking down the scriptures the right way that understanding flows to another person he's like man that makes sense and then therefore that person's compelled to do the same thing yeah and that's then, how we become the fruits and then the day they're expecting a bunch of people but the scripture said only 144,000 will be delivered so out of all the Christians in the world there's got the millions and billions of fucking Christians, there's no way, you know, there's no fucking way all of them are going to be delivered. That that that, that one scripture cuts it itself, uh, cuts Christianity, where broad is the way. way that yeah, yo, I always, yo, yeah. yo, that guy my favorite scripture, man, because yeah, yeah. that right there cuts Islam, cuts all of these different religions. That's right, because they're, 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 they're Christianity is one of the top. If even Islam might be a little more than Christianity. Yes. It's one of the top uh, 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 beliefs out there, yeah. out there man. Yep. Christianity and Islam, yep. the top two beliefs out there that maybe Catholics come yeah. back after. Yeah. But we're, that already shows. from the Roman Catholic Church. So, yo, all of them. <laughs> like, literally, all three of them. <laughs> literally. Yo, I'm supposed to show you, man. <laughs> Esau did a fucking awesome job, man. Real shit, Esau, real shit. man, you yo, you deserve a clap, bro. Real for, shit. for how wicked you are, God, Lee. Damn. That, this guy did not crazy, leave man. anything behind. He started everything. That's right. That's right. You know. And, and they're so diverse from each other that it's just like, God, damn, how the fuck did and you come up with this? And these elites are just sitting back. Yeah. They're just sitting back, watch, watching their, 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 their um. Yeah. They're 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 filthy to spread. Yeah. Really, you got heathens who worship animals. That's why you know they don't. They're vegetarians. You know they don't. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, Because you know they don't believe in eating animals because they worship it. Yeah, man. they worship it. That's, That's right. Crazy That's right. man. That's right. That's right. That is unbelievable, man. That's right. Everything <laughs> everything backwards. You eating my And it says, and David saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. That's right, man. That table is representing, it's a representation of their so-called understanding, of their belief. Let their table be a snare. To, let their let the belief of Christianity and Islam and Catholicism be a snare unto them, man. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's yeah. really what he's saying, man. Let them, let them, let, let them believe in that shit. Because at the end of the day, this is just truth. It's only for the elect. Yeah. If 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 they're in if they're if, if they're in Islam or in uh, in Christianity, yeah. and they're not coming up coming up out of it, then that's on them. Because there is no way that they can say that, that they haven't heard this. Yes. Yeah. This, this this like this truth. Yeah. This belief. Exactly. Right. So once you've been given both sides of the table, and you still stay on the wrong side, that's it. That's your ass. Yeah. So who are we to give any, you know, to give any fucks he, about you? He about that is filthy, let him be filthy still. That's it, that's it. That's it, man. That's it. The Yo, most guys don't give a shit about yeah. you guys. Man. And that's, that's the same thing that goes with you. If you guys think we're wicked, leave us alone. Yeah, 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 yeah the scriptures tell you to stay away from wicked people. Yeah. So if you think we're wicked, stay away. Come on. That's right, man.
and it says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Yo, this is, yo, that's crazy, man. Like, this is, this is, a, this is in Romans from an apostle. <laughs> the apostle. You know, Paul. apostle Paul. He's telling, like, he's basically stating, let these guys be dumb. Forget, forget them. There's, there's, there's no chance. What kind of mindset did that show you? That show you this man only care for the elect, as do we, well, we are the elect. Yeah. That's why, that's why when we, when we, when, when, uh, when you guys come up, up, up against us, we don't, it's really just the scriptures playing out right in front of us. Yeah. And also, you know, that goes, well, you know, with like, you know, when Vaughn came up last time, you know, you know, basically, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, like, you know, how my tutu was telling us, you know, I'm a hottie teacher or whatever, yeah, you know, of, yeah. and then, you know, that one Jake that was up here, he's saying, you know, he doesn't believe in the, in the Bible, you know, and so on and on. And then Vaughn, you know, was basically, you know, I'm a, basically like, like you know, I'm a telling us, you know, how we should be talking to him because maybe we like, you can know, bring him we can bring it. Fuck him, bro. Yo, we're shit, gonna try. Shit. If you don't believe in the scriptures, we're moving on. Yeah, that's it. We're moving on, that's man. That's it, man. You we'll know? teach, and if you don't get it, you <laughs> teach it. That's it. My shit my voice. That's it. There's that's literally it. nothing that we can do or, you know, try to scratch your back, you know, and beg you to come and believe in this thing, man. That's Fuck it, man. you, man. We don't yeah, care. Shit. You know? Honestly, man. We're just messengers, man. We are just messengers. All we do is speak the message and it's the most high who seals. That's yeah. that's one thing that you guys don't understand. When it comes to this fruits thing. They, they think they have the power to yeah, like convert literally, someone. Yo, if I can convert people, I would convert <laughs> my I would convert everybody that I cared about. Yeah. All the, all my family members that came against me, if I had the actual power to make them come in this truth, yeah. they'll be in this truth. Yeah. Without no argument. Yeah. But we don't have the power. Yeah. We're just messengers, man. Yeah. And then the Lord said, my sheep hears my voice. That's so right. when that's they right. hear us speak, that's what's going to draw them into wanting to know more. Yeah, because exactly. some of the things that we say are, you know, um, you know, because, you know, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. spark that spirit. Yeah, exactly, you know. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Right. And yeah. with that, that's that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. With that, we're going to close up. Then we'll say, Ka -ha -la -ya -ha -wa -wa -ya -ha -wa -ya yeah. and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Yeah. Salutations to the elect Christians, word into sincerity yeah. and destined destruction to the wicked kingdom. Shalom. Shalom.